Ah, this is Brooklyn St. Michael with the School of Aquaponics, and this is Ask the Aquaponics God. Preventing you from becoming a biscuit-headed grower. Today, high-class growers, we're going to be talking a little bit about placing the aquaponics system inside of a greenhouse, some of the designs. We got a system here with a small greenhouse and we want to know what we can fit in that uh, greenhouse to make it work, right? But before we jump into that, I want to thank you guys for liking the video, subscribing to the channel. I absolutely appreciate you guys out there, right? I'm a little tired right now. I've been up since about 5 a.m. doing aquaponics and I woke up at about 11, 11.30, so I'm still tired right now, so I gotta get some energy flowing in me right now so I can get through, uh, get through this lesson and give you guys the heat, right? So hopefully I boost up, and most likely I will when I get to going with aquaponics. So let's get into this question here, right? And um, see what we got and what we're yapping about today. So this question comes from Dan Julef. What's going on, Dan? Ah. It says, hi Brooklyn, my name is Dan from Australia. I've been following your channel for a long time now and I'm finally ready to start my own aquaponics system. This is hot, I'm ready, I'm pumped for you. See, I, I can feel the energy coming. <laughs> I'm pumped for you, Dan, let's get it going. I've been collecting bits to start off with, including my first greenhouse, which is not that big. It's 4.7 meters long and 2.5 meters wide. Right, this is a pretty small greenhouse, so we're gonna have to crunch them in there, right? We're gonna have to get ready to do some crunching. I was wondering if you could give me some advice how to maximize my space. I have three IBC tanks and a 1200 liter rectangle shaped koi fish tank to work with. I was hoping to fit floating raft, DWC, and also flood and drain gravel grow beds, plus fish tank, plus sump, plus filter system. I think I'm going with a swirl filter. I'm not a high class grower yet, still a rookie. You don't, you could be a high class grower and be a rookie. High class grower is just a mentality, right? That's all it is, it's a mentality to keep going and moving forward, right? And never staying stagnant. That's all it is. So you can start at uh, doing your DIY and you just work yourself up. Right, you keep working up if this is your craft, right? If this is your, your hobby, if this is your hobby or your profession, you're gonna keep, wanna keep progressing. You don't wanna just stay and just say, ah, this is all it is right here. Because if you do that, that's what your reality will give you. If you understand yourself to be a high class grower, your reality will give you that in turn, right? It just depends on what you wanna do with it. So you can definitely be a high class grower as a rookie. I will get the pump when I work out how much water I have in the system. Any thoughts or ideas to point me in the right direction would be much appreciated. Thanks, Dan. Praying to the aquaponics God. All right, my man, Dan. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna whip out the aquaponics God whiteboard, and we're gonna go over this real quick and see if we can fit you know, an aquaponics system in there and see what we can work with. So let's set this up and I'll be right back. All right, Dan, we're about to jump into it. So you have a greenhouse that's 2.5 meters wide, which is about eight feet. We're gonna, it's a little bit more than eight feet, but to simplify, we'll say eight feet by 4.7 meters, which is about 15 and a half feet, 15.5 feet. All right, so we're gonna try to squeeze an aquaponic system in here, and but we're not gonna wanna jam it in here because a lot of us have the tendency to want to jam stuff all in there. And I understand this because this is what, the, what I used to do as well. You want to jam as much as you can get in there to try to, you know, to fit it in there. But the thing is, it always bites you in the end because at the end, right, when you come in and you're trying to work on the system that you built and you want to enjoy it in peace, you're going to be crammed up in there, right? So we want to give some space. We want to make sure we have enough space. Now, ideally, when you put a system in here, in a greenhouse, what I like to have is at least three feet of aisle space or walkway, right? So let's say if we set up an aquaponic system or if we set up a, um, a, a grow bed in the middle, I want three feet at least on each side, 
Now, with your system, it's a little different because of the, 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 um, the numbers and the measurements of your greenhouse. So yours is 2.5 meters wide or about eight feet wide. Now, let's say you're using a traditional, you know, a standard floating raft, which is gonna be about four feet wide or about 1.2 meters wide, right? If we stuck that in your greenhouse, that's gonna give us, right, only two feet or 0 0.6 meters of space on each side, right? Two feet, you got a four, uh, four feet um, raft and you got two feet on, uh, of extra um, aisle space on the end. Right, that's not really ideal, right? When you come into your aquaponic system and your greenhouse, you wanna come in there like, ah, I'm here. You know, you wanna feel like, man, I'm here. Walk in, stretch if you feel like. You wanna look around. You wanna be able to do that. Here, when you come in your greenhouse, if it's only got about two feet of space to walk in, you're gonna be basically walking on a tightrope, doing ballet. So we, we really want three feet. So this one right here, we wouldn't be able to stick it right in the middle, right? We wouldn't be able to stick this right in the middle. So this would not be a good, a good way to set this up. What I would suggest is we come over here. Now this is going to be a little bit different, but this is how we're going to try to utilize the space as, um, as effectively as, as possible. So what I would do is I would, on the one of the portions of your greenhouse on the sidewall I will leave one foot of space 0 0.3 meters a one foot space here and then I would place your your um, grow bed there your four feet grow bed or 1.2 meter grow bed there now what that's going to do is that's going to leave us an additional three feet because this is what we're looking for that three feet or that 0.9 meters of space to kind of work with. Now, when you do it this way, you're not gonna be able to use a grow bed or a media bed, right? You're gonna wanna use a raft system. And the reason why is because this is four feet here. If you're standing here, if you're standing right here, you're not gonna be able to grab these plants over here in a four uh, feet um, uh, um, area. You're not going to be able to grab them. So what the floating raft does is it allows you to take this and move it towards you. Get over here. Kind of like that. Moves this towards you. You can bring it towards you. So if you split this up, instead of um, having one long four feet um, of, uh, floating raft, you can split it up to two feet. You can split it up to two feet. It's 0 0.6 meters. Right? And you can pull them out. You can pull them out. You can pull one out. And then um, you can pull the other one, place the other one on the other side. You can kind of rotate them and you can get access to both sides, right? And you just leave your little space here, right? So this plant doesn't grow into your, um, grow all the way into the side of your, your greenhouse, right? Just a little bit of space. But this is how you would really want to use to uh, do it to optimize the space that's in there, right? You can pull it out and you get access to your plants. Now, as far as the length, when we're dealing with the length of your greenhouse, it's the length of your greenhouse is 4.7 meters. So that's about 15 and a half feet. So we have a little bit to work with. Now, what I want you to do is, to, in order to make this work, you really want on this side, you want, you, if, if you have a door, you'd really want to place your door on the opposite side of your um, floating raft. Right, so this will give you room to walk in and ah, look, I'm home. You know, daddy's home. That's how you'll feel, like, man, I'm here. Right, you have space to work with. So you put your door on the opposite side of your, of your floating raft. Here, you can give yourself a little bit of room. You're gonna need, you're gonna need a little bit of room in here, at least, at least a foot, right, from the beginning. So this is the, this is the entrance here, coming in, at least a foot. I would ideally we want way more than that, but we're trying to get you in there to be able to have something that's manageable, at least a foot in there. So uh, this these plants here aren't touching, you know, aren't touching the um, the entrance, aren't touching the plastic or whatever it is that you're using for your um, the front end of your um, of your greenhouse. We have our 
floating raft, which you can put in there, an eight feet floating raft, 2.4 meters. You can put that in there. That's a nice standard size, right? And then what you want is you want to be able to get, once again, that three feet. We want that three feet, 0 0.9 meters. That's going to be between your raft and your uh, fish tank. This will give you enough room to get in there and walk around, you know, check stuff comfortably, look around, and not have to tiptoe. You know, you're not tiptoeing around like, like the Grinch that stole Christmas, right? You got some room in here. And then you have your fish tanks here. You have 3.5 feet or 1.1 meters to work with for your fish tank, right? You can place that in there. That's enough um, room. I think that's about the size of a of, of, of an IBC tote. If you put it at the right, the right angle, you can get one of those in there and you can, and, and plus you have, you know, you still have your eight feet of, of, uh, of width, your, um, your 2.5 meters of width. So you can, so you have that to work with from here. So you can go, you know, you can, you still have your eight feet or your 2.5 meters to work with to place your filtration and, um, if you need to place another uh, tank, you can try to fit that in as best as possible. But this right here is pretty much going to give you something that's comfortable to work with with what you got, with what you're dealing with, right? What you're dealing with. We need our space, right? We need to have space. So I would set it up somewhat like this. You come in, you still have your room on, on, on one side, right? You have your plants on the other side. You have your raft, not a media bed in here for this particular setup, not a media bed, because you can't get to the other side, right? You're not going to be able to reach your arms over on the other side, right? I'm 6'1", and it's, there, I have one right here. It's hard for me to reach to the, to the end of a four feet uh, raft. Very difficult. So most of you guys probably aren't, aren't that tall, so it's going to be even more difficult. You want a raft so you can pull them out. Uh, you can rotate them. And you can deal with it like that, right? So, Dan, I hope this helps you out, man, and that this gives you somewhat of an um, idea of how you can put your system together. I like to have more space than this, but we're, we're working with what you have. I like to have, you know, at least three feet coming in of entrance. You know, I like to I always keep my three feet between, you know, between the components, and I like to have room to walk around and move around. I'm not going to be... Uh, crunched up and jammed up. That's how some of my other um, systems were. Jammed up. And you, you're tight in there. I've seen other people with that too. And when you do that for a, a, a certain amount of time, you'll find out how annoying it gets. Right? You want to come in your aquaponic system and have some peace. Peace, uh, peace of mind and some clarity on what it is that you're doing. Right? So Dan, I hope this helped you out, my man. And thanks a lot for watching and submitting your question. If any of you guys out there have other questions, be sure to submit them in the comment section below, and I'll add them to the queue. I want to thank you guys once again for liking the video, subscribing to the channel. I absolutely appreciate it. If you want more help with aquaponics, click on the link below. Get you a free mini course and aquaponics starter guide, and get going. Also, visit theschoolofaquaponics.com and get into aquaponics paradise, right? Get in there. So until next time, this is Brooklyn. St. Michael with the School of Aquaponics reminding you to stop walking and get you a car. <laughs>